what are some of the more advanced things that you see more frequently than others? Right now, Amazon is still on a tear with linked accounts and that can affect new, new sellers, but it actually affects longer uh, held accounts and more established sellers more often. So mm -hmm. a linked account is where Amazon believes that your account um, is somehow related to another account that has been banned from selling on the platform. It was suspended for some reason, some bad behavior. And sometimes the, the client or the seller, sometimes they're guilty. There are people who they get shut down for some reason, they set up another account, they try and use VPN and all these other strategies so Amazon doesn't see it and catch it. And then eventually Amazon catches them. They make a mistake. They they load the same credit card in they were using on the old account or, you know, some kind of laziness, something dumb that they do, they get caught. But so many of our clients who come in have no idea who this related account is. Amazon will now tell you either the full name of the related account or the first three letters of the account. And they will swear up and down they've never heard of these people. So I'll tell you the, the most bizarre story I've ever had of related accounts so people can know how nuts this gets. There was a woman from Canada who had a very valuable brand that she built. And it was purchased by a large aggregator you have all heard of. And this aggregator was super excited because the brand was so great. And they, uh, she maintained a very small ownership in the account, but she transferred it over to the aggregator and they, they had the login. Everything's good. Out of the blue, she gets a code of conduct and she was taken down for related accounts. Turned out some guy she had lived with several years prior had been banned from all Amazon marketplaces for being a black hat seller. And he didn't even sell on Amazon at the time they were living together. He, he had never had anything to do with Amazon, they broke up. She hadn't even spoken to him for years. And somehow, because they had shared a past address, probably um, Amazon, when they banned his accounts, then they looked for any related accounts he had and took her down. So here's the nightmare part. Then at the aggregator, like it was one every week, like clockwork, their new acquisition started going down one a week one at a time. We had to appeal each one separately. There was no way to tell Amazon, hey, this is all one aggregator and it's all because of this one incident. And they're like, cool. And they make it go away. No, every single account we had to start over and do the yes. reinstatement again. So it was a false positive, but it was based on realistic data. Mm -hmm. And that's where most of these come from. It's, it's a false positive because this lady didn't do anything wrong. She hadn't even spoken to the guy for more than a year, but the data, since they thought he was such a bad actor, because he was banned worldwide, which is kind of rare. What he did was so awful that they are erring on the side of safety. So, so these are the things that can happen. Some roommate that you had years ago, they get their account suspended. A business that you worked at and you logged in with your buyer account when you were at that business and their account is taken down. And then you from home set up a seller account um, and you still use that login that you used to use when you were at the business for the same account. And so then they think you're a bad guy. There's so many ways it can happen. The reason it happens to older sellers is the longer you sell, the more relationships you've had, people you've lived with, people you've known, companies you've worked. And yeah. eventually, uh, you can get taken out. Another another one is uh, shared office spaces. So you know how there's like the the office spaces where it's an there's offices and there's shared warehouse that can do it. If someone in a shared warehouse uh, is taken down and you have the same address on everything, and it's it's bad. It's really bad. I understand a lot of times why Amazon does it, but coming back from it is hard because proving a negative is not an easy thing. You know, when you say, mommy, I didn't eat that cookie. My brother ate the cookie. Uh, how do you prove that? Unless he's got crumbs all over his face. 